Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage online classes. In this video, I will be explaining to you the most important vocabulary words uh, for competitive exams like SSC, uh, Bank PO, IBPS clerk and uh, SSC CGL uh, that is going to uh, conduct in the uh, August months. So these vocabulary words I have taken from the last year question paper and they are very very important for examination point of view. So you must watch this video from beginning to end. And you should try to watch this video multiple times so that uh, you can uh, learn all these words by heart. So let us see the first word. Let us get started. Uh, first word is Bohemian. Okay, now Bohemian means uh, someone who is very unorthodox, who is not orthodox, who is not conventional. So Bohemian, you can remember this word by linking uh, the word Bohemian with the He-Man. You must have heard and you must have watched the He-Man image. He man is never orthodox. He is not conventional. He is always, he is always wearing some uh, some kind of unorthodox dresses and all. So a bohemian means unorthodox. Or so many uh, synonyms I have given here. Iconoclast, one who can break the icon. Okay, flower child, free thinker, beat neck. So many uh, words I have included. Maximum uh, words I have included uh, for your. Uh, uh, just to facilitate your pre preparation for the banking exams and other uh, competitive exam gypsy and hippie so these words all these words mean something very unconventional and something very unorthodox and the antonym of this word will be conformist who always conform to the social values and social patterns okay and orthodox so bohemian means unorthodox bohemian means unorthodox or not conventional now let us move on to the next word aficio nardo aficio nardo you can connect this word with the affection okay the person to whom you uh, very affectionate with okay so you are affectionate with person uh, that you follow so aficio nardo means ardent follower aficio nardo means ardent follower of of somebody or something just see here this is the explanation a serious devotee of some particular music genre and musical performer and antonym of this word will be hater so aficio nardo means ardent follower of something or somebody aficio nardo means ardent follower now let us move on to the next word seemly seemly means something according to the propriety something according according with custom or propriety something very appropriate something very suitable and decent okay decorous so i have given here many words many uh, proprietary according uh, according to uh, the custom or decorous and in uh, antonym of this word will be inappropriate or you can say inept because apt means appropriate apt means appropriate or suitable so seemly means appropriate okay now let us move on to the next word sabbatical sabbatical uh, uh, impl imp uh, sabbatical uh, signifies something uh, with the vacation or time off okay so sabbatical uh, when you work continuously and uh, you are given paid leaves those paid leaves are called sabbatical okay sabbatical vacation time off or furlough this word is used in armed forces when you get long leave furlough liberty and recess so this is also very important word sabbatical sabbatical means vacation or leave sabbatical means vacation or leave and this furlough word is used in normally used in armed forces and civil services now let us move on to the next word cynical means critical both these words sound in the same way they sound the same way cynical means critical cynical means critical or hypercritical the person who is always doubting something or the other or is skeptical you can say so cynical means hypercritical cynical means hypercritical the one who is always doubting and the antonym of the cynical will be believing trusting unskeptical and optimistic so this word is also very very important for different competitive exams cynical now let us move on to the next word surly surly means a bad tempered you can link this word with the uh, with the image of the sir uh, that are appointed in uh, or uh, uh, that do the teaching in uh, elementary schools or government elementary schools 
they are very rough they are very bad tempered they scold the students and uh, you know they stop a student from doing any noise and all so surly means a bad tempered person okay rude person bad tempered person gruff gruff you can remember with the rough okay gruff you can always remember with the rough gruff means rough charles now these words you can remember with these two letter r u r u simply indicate rude okay r u rude r u rude r u rude so you can remember these word by uh, linking these two letter with the word cult brusk charles boorish gruff all these words means ill mannered or bad tempered so obviously the antonym of this word will be refined well mannered sophisticated okay all these word will be antonym of surly surly means the person who is like sir who work in elementary government schools who are normally their image is like that that they are very bad tempered very rude and something like that so you can remember this way okay now quick sotic uh, quick sotic you must have how uh, you must have heard about the uh, you know uh, quick schemes quick uh, quick money schemes so all these schemes are very impractical very unrealistic very idealistic because they show you dreams okay so quick sotic is something that is unreal that is impractical okay so all these words i have given here just see here uh, steady eyed utopian is a place where everything is perfect perfect so this seems to be a imaginary thing utopian chimerical chimerical is also something very impractical or uh, just see here highly improbable or illusory or fanciful or imaginative okay so quixotic means something that is very impractical or very unrealistic now the antonym of this word will be cautious practical realistic thoughtful wise and sensible so these are the antonym of these words so this video tutorial will be definitely very very useful for you because uh, word power is used in reading comprehension in close test in vocabulary so name antonym and uh, uh, fillers also you can uh, make very good use of this video tutorial so you must watch this video tutorial from beginning to end this will be definitely very very useful for you paragon paragon simply means paragon means model of excellence or role model of something okay so i have given here these many synonyms non such this is also called non such ideal apotheosis apotheosis means the culmination or highest point of development in something apotheosis model of excellence perfect example you must have heard about the paragon sleepers that are the official sleepers or uh, sleepers used for official purpose so they are very good so that is why you can remember this word this way paragon paragon means something that is perfect or something perfect example of something role model faulty or imperfect will be the antonym of this word now let us move on to the next word appraise appraise means assessment appraise means to assess to evaluate to estimate to weigh up pros and cons to review to adjudge to examine and to assess assay and assay so you can remember this word uh, because assess and assay have the same letter a double s a double s so in this way you can link this word and you can remember this word assay means to assess or to evaluate or to examine okay guesstimate now if you are not reviewing anything you are ignoring it or you are kind of neglecting it so the antonym of assess will be ignore or neglect now this word you should not confuse this word with uprise uprise is different and appraise is different this is appraise okay appraisal there is always a appraisal in different uh, government department or private company when they evaluate your performance at the end of the year appraise appraisal or estimate now this is the word that you can get definitely confused with uprise this is uprise and this uprise means to inform somebody or brief somebody or notify someone inform brief notify tip off advise tell 
and if you do not notify something if you do not notify someone you conceal information you hide information so the antonym of this word will be uh, conceal and hide this is appraise and the last word was appraise appraise means appraisal or assessment or evaluation this is appraise appraised of i was appraised of that information appraise is always followed by of and appraise means when you appraise somebody you inform that person or notify that person okay so now let us move on to the next word accomplice is someone who gives you company okay accomplice is someone who gives you in company so that is why he is your associate he is your confederate because he has taken you into the confidence insider or aid one who give you the one you give you help or a better ally associate accessory one uh, accessory is someone uh, who you can access and that person can only be your friend access and antonym of this word will be adversary adversary and accessory are antonyms remember this word adversary is someone who has who has put you in adverse situation and only an enemy can put you in the adverse situation so adversary means enemy enemy or opponent okay and accessory one who you, who you can access means your friend and avatar means your supporter with whom you can uh, with whom you can put the bet so avatar means your supporter a b e d b t o r so accomplice is someone who who supports you or who, who is kind of associate with you accomplished now let us see the next word bemoan bemoan uh, means mourn or grieve or deplore when you are sad over something you are called bemoan and the opposite of this word will be enjoy rejoice and bless arrant this is also a very important word arrant you can combine this word uh, with the letter a so arrant means absolute or you can say utter or perfect if i say utter nonsense means it is complete nonsense or arrant nonsense or arrant stupid means complete stupid okay downright also is very important word so this word indicate supreme superb superlative superior accomplished So these are the different synonym of this word, and antonym of this word will be imperfect and incomplete. So arrant means something very absolute, something very total or utter. Okay. Eccentric. Eccentric means someone who is not normal. Okay. Someone who is irregular, abnormal, unconventional, uncommon, abnormal. irregular aberrant aberrant one who deviate from the normal path aberrant means one who deviate or kind of the person who does who do lots of errors because e double r you can see the word here e double r so you can link this word with these three letters this simply indicate one who deviate from the normal path deviant atypical so these many words are the synonym of which word eccentric abnormal or unusual you can say and the antonym of this word will be regular and usual now let us move on to the next part distinct distinct is something that you can see clearly from the distance so that is why this is called distinct clear well defined easily distinct distinguishable recognizable readily distinguishable a distinct smell of nicotine okay you can clearly identify something that is called distinct and if anything is not distinct it is dim it is uncertain or vague it is unclear okay so distinct means very clear very obvious very rec recognizable and very distinct now let us move on to the next part adolescent adolescent means someone who is not adult okay first uh, first come adolescent then come adult so adolescent is uh, the age that comes before the adult adolescent adolescent okay 
so the opposite of adolescent will be adult adult okay now let us move on to the next part adulation adulation means uh, flattery or blandishment or sycophant okay to persuade someone to get your things done adulation means to persuade somebody or to convince somebody uh, to get your things done so the proper synonyms of this word are wheedling cajole or cajolery sycophant blandishment and flattery and uh, this word obloquy means criticism criticism of somebody just see here this vilification opprobrium slander denunciation this word is also very important denunciation denunciation also means criticize somebody this is different from renunciation that means give up to renounce means to give up something and to denounce means to announce something in a negative way that is to criticize somebody so adulation means flattery now let us move on to the next word turbulence turbulence means lot of disturbance okay turbulence means lot of disturbance confusion commotion disorder turmoil turmoil you can remember this word with this three letter oil when the government increases the price increases the price of oil there is a lot of turmoil lot of confusion and lot of unrest tumult agitation uproar hurly burly unrest means people are not satisfied furor means lot of lot of anger in the people mayhem chaos disorder disorder havoc bedlam and pandemonium pandemonium means disorder just see here fury okay frenzy fracas chaos unruliness and temp tempestuousness and uh, the antonym of this word will be order and ruliness so turbulence means disturbance turbulence means disturbance or confusion or disorder and turmoil is also very common word turmoil now let us move on to the next part levity simply means lightness of something lightness humor flippancy jokiness so this means levity and if something is not light it is very serious you say gravity or seriousness so gravity and seriousness are the opposite of this word levity now let us move on to the next word intention intention means purpose okay and the opposite of this word will be chance intentionally means deliberately you are doing it on your own willingly and chance means by chance now lament this is also very important word lament means to be sad about something to mourn something to grieve something and to bewail something bewail an antonym of this word will be rejoice now let us see the next word evidence means proof or verification or substantiation to prove something by giving good support substantiation support and when you refuse to accept something this is called confutation so confutation will be the opposite of this word evidence now next word expedient expedient is a noun just see the proper explanation here anything that is convenient and practical although possibly improper and immoral it could be convenient and practical it could be easy but it could be improper and immoral so that kind of thing is called expedient excelt means glory triumph rejoice jubilate celebrate and elation when you are too much happy uh, regarding a performance or regarding anything you are called elated you are elated celebrate jubilate all these word indicate some kind of happiness and opposite of this word will be lament and mourn now move on to the next part induce means to convince someone to do something induce inducement okay persuade tempt temptations provoke to persuade someone uh, for doing something negative stimulate 
okay and the antonym of this word will be deter put off discourage these word will be negative of this word now let us move on to the next part respite simply means relief respite means relief okay some kind of regular uh, relief from some kind of regular activity interval breather lull and let off lull and let off means uh, stopping of some activity for some time relief reprieve clemency or leniency are the same word clemency mitigation of something means reduction of something abatement or reduction of something abatement means to reduce the intensification uh, to reduce the intensity of something okay abate so these are the antonym of this word exertion and activity will be the antonym of this word resist means oppose or defy or counter attack or not surrender resist means not surrender so the opposite of this word will be surrender or given given also means surrender given yield also means surrender unyielding means the person who is not surrendering unyielding resentment resentment means when you play with somebody's sentiments he becomes resented okay so bitterness antipathy he is not happy with you umbrage he is bitter dislike and bile so these are the synonyms of resentment and antonym of this word will be gratitude and thankfulness next word antagonize is uh, something when you when you become anti of something okay hostility anger annoy or provoke okay anti means opposite so anti means arouse hostility and you are not friendly with someone so if you are antagonize if you antagonize someone you irritate him you annoy him you provoke him and opposite of these word will be pacify and placate now let us see the next word abate 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 means to subside something to let up something to lessen something okay to reduce in amount or degree abate a b a t e okay and opposite of this word will be intensify abet this word is different from abate abet to whom you uh, put the bet obviously with your friend so abet means to support or to encourage or to approve this is abet and last word was abate and the opposite of this word will be hinder impede obstruct prevent and dissuade okay abet and abate abate means to reduce something and abet means to support something next word perpetual perpetual uh, is, is something that is continuous or something that is ceaseless perennial continuous permanent eternal and ionian so perpetual is something that is continuous perpetual problems perpetual rains okay ephemeral is something that is very short lived very transient and short lived tolerance when you accept something or when you wear something that is called tolerance fortitude these are the synonym of this word and bigotry means when you are uh, when you do not want to tolerate any other opinion or any other religion that is called bigotry okay now let us move on to the next word vague means something that is not very certain or very clear so vague means uncertain vague idea i have a vague idea means i have a very unclear uncertain idea ambiguous unclear and equivocal equivocal means unclear blurred obscure nebulous amorphous and hazy so these simple words are these simple words mean vague or uncertain and the opposite of this word will be certain clear apparent explicit obvious and definite pursue means to chase something to follow something pursue means to follow something to chase something to hunt something 
okay and if you do not pursue you definitely avoid it give up ignore let you sq is very important word sq sq means to escape something okay you can remember this word this way shun means to run away from something shun and neglect so this very important word impeccable is something that is perfect or faultless impeccable means faultless perfect flawless and this immaculate word is also very common immaculate very very uh, important word immaculate perfect irreproachable okay unsoiled unsullied and seamless this word is also very important seamless seamless means perfect flawless okay immaculate impeccable and opposite of this word will be defective messy corrupt defiled flawed and tainted indiscriminate means something that you are doing randomly something that that, that you are doing without any planning okay so arbitrary indiscriminate means arbitrary or randomly or desultory and aimless and opposite of this word will be methodical indiscriminate means something you are doing randomly without any planning on your own ruthless business people are normally ruthless it means they are unfeeling they don't have much uh, many feelings cruel unfeeling merciless hard nosed and remorseless okay so the opposite of this word will be merciful or uh, ruthless you can also say callous insensitive okay so the antonym of ruthless will be humane not human but humane because humane means kind or considerate or you can say sympathetic so these words are the antonym of this word relentless relentless means persistent inexorable okay unabated unflagging so these are the synonym of relentless and these are the antonym credence simply means belief or trust credentials and the opposite of this word will be doubt and misgiving now here you can do the revision of these words procrastinate means to late or to delay acrophobia means the fear of height flunk means to fail in any exam ubiquitous means everywhere fickle means unstable cynophobia the fear of dogs sq means to escape something credence means to trust fragile means breakable chagrin means annoyance or irritation utopia is something that is very perfect immigrant the person who come from outside to inside lament means to be sad about something ruthless means callous or insensitive or unfeeling fortitude means to be tolerant about something detest means to dislike something jubilant means to be happy detrimental means harmful bigotry means intolerant veteran means very very experienced now here you can also do the revision relentless means persistent vague means uncertain or unclear abate means to lessen something to reduce something to reduce the intensity of something abad means to support something pursue means to follow something impeccable means immaculate something that is faultless obscure means unclear cease less means continuous seem less means perfect chagrin means annoyance umbrage means bitterness mitigation means reduction of something arbitrary means indiscriminate randomly you are doing something indiscriminate judicious means voice flippancy means levity lightness of something relentless relentless persistent detrimental harmful callous insensitive and obloquy uh, means criticism public criticism so in this word i have included more than 350 very very important word and i hope this uh, video tutorial will be very very useful for you so if you have liked this video uh, kindly like it share it with your friends and do send us your comment so that i can know how did you like it and if you are the first timer on this channel please do not forget to subscribe 
प्लीज डू ज्वाइन अस यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन दिस चैनल प्लीज डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एट वॉन्स यू विल बी बेनिफिटेड ए लॉट दिस इज माई प्रॉमिस टू यू सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर ब्राइट फ्यूचर नाउ हेयर यू कैन ज्वाइन मी ऑन फेसबुक इंग्लिश एडवांटेज ग्रुप एंड ट्विटर एंड लिंक इन सो दीज लिंक्स आई हैव गिविन हेयर बाय अप्लाइंग दीज लिंक्स यू कैन ज्वाइन मी ऑन दीज डिफरेंट वेबसाइट्स और डिफरेंट चैनल्स सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वॉन्स अगेन फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर ब्राइट फ्यूचर थैंक यू